Many domestic issues come and go, but health care usually keeps its place at the top of the list. The challenge for a growing segment of the population is getting access to good care. Today, there are a number of organizations and private interests helping to make more options available for more people. Imagine having to wait weeks just to see a doctor for even the most routine health care. For the 20% of the population who live in the nation's medically underserved communities, it is not something they have to imagine, but an ongoing crisis every day. There is growing concern about the emerging shortage of primary physicians nationwide, and in particular, the state of New York. There is a projected crisis in, as far as the physician supply throughout the United States. Uh, the Association of American Medical Colleges projects that we will need um, approximately 10,000 more um, medical school graduates to even begin to address that, that uh, demand. There are many areas that are having gaps in their care and primarily due to the shortage of physicians. What we are trying to do at this point is trying to make sure that we have committed individuals who are able to provide care in the places that some would say no one would ever want to go. The medical profession is facing many challenges. A large number of Americans are in poor health and do not receive proper medical care. While these problems can affect people of all groups and walks of life, the challenges are especially acute for racial and ethnic minorities. Minorities are New York's and the nation's fastest growing population group, but are seriously underrepresented in medicine. Within our high schools, the issue of the quality of science education is quite variable. As a result, um, many um, minorities and students from families with lower um, financial resources the academic discipline and the foundation for advanced science study. A large proportion of minorities live below the poverty line and because of that the access to getting better education, to having the opportunities to go ahead in professional activities is very limited. Because primary care physicians focus on promoting good health and the prevention, early detection and treatment of medical problems, a shortage in this area of medicine can have a significant impact on certain regions of the nation. Yet not enough medical school graduates are entering the field of primary care. The indebtedness of, of medical school graduates today is a major uh, deterrent to entering uh, the primary care specialties. Although those er the primary care areas will give them a comfortable living, young graduates can find it difficult to think about those areas and at the same time uh, uh, pay, consider paying back the kinds of debts that, that, that they have. Medicine is not just about technical skills, but connections between doctors and patients. Experts agree that training more minority doctors is critical to gaining insight into medical conditions specific to racial and ethnic groups. Health care delivered by those who fully understand a cultural tradition is becoming vital to the field of medicine. As the, the population becomes more diverse culturally, racially, um, it becomes much more important that the physician population and the health professional population is able, is able to be aware of and sensitive to the differences uh, and of cultural traditions and communication that may exist. Providing good health care is important to us. Care that is not stopped by language barriers, care that is not stopped by ignorance to cultural beliefs. And if we're actually able to train these doctors who reflect our population, that should provide good health care overall to our patients. The Sophie Davis School of Biomedical Education was created in 1973 to educate talented students of diverse cultures and backgrounds to serve as primary care physicians in medically underserved communities. Sophie Davis uh, competitively selects students who have demonstrated a will to excel, many of whom are coming from inner city schools, all of whom have made a commitment to become a physician. For many of these students, this is the only route that they could have to get into medicine. Preparing for a medical career 
requires a willingness to undertake one of the most challenging courses of study possible. The Sophie Davis School of Biomedical Education offers a comprehensive academic program created especially to support the goal of becoming a physician. It's a, a place and an environment where uh, learning the medical sciences and, and learning how to be a good physician is the number one priority. My career in medicine focuses on underserved individuals, underserved populations. And what I've learned from Sophie Davis is one, how to respect people from different cultures, and two, how to interact with those people, even if you do not have the same experiences that they may have had. So you need somebody who actually knows how to deal with the patient on a social aspect, on a cultural aspect, on an angle that's past just medicine era, and that's what Sophie Davis does for you. It gives you the opportunity to know the patient as a person. Thank you for joining us today on the Profile Series. Be sure to join us next time for more stories on reaching our personal goals. I'm Lou Gossett, Jr. For information about the Sophie Davis School of Biomedical Education at City College of New York, please visit med.cuny.edu.